what is up YouTube it's Lions Fan Express coming at you with that man-to-man -man press and in today's video we're gonna continue the UDFA series and take a look at Lions running back Mohammed Ibrahim out of Minnesota um, you know the Lions signed him as a UDFA after the draft and you know there's a lot to like about him so we're gonna take a look at you know some things that he does well some things that he can kind of improve on and also what his role might be um, and if he can make the Detroit Lions roster um, it, during the season so with that being said let's take a look so if you guys didn't know um you know he played at minnesota uh, for five years he was a redshirt fifth year senior um he's about five eight 210 pounds so he's, he's a little bit you know shorter but he's really thickly built uh definitely a powerful you know running back he's got some strength to him uh you know it, the fun thing with him is that you know i'm a big 10 guy so i got to watch him you know play against you know my teams uh, you know, a handful of times, and the fact is, you know, he's a great player. Um, his freshman year, you know, he burst onto the scene. Uh, he ran for 1,100 yards in 202 attempts, which was an average of about 5.7 yards. And you know, he continued uh, that trend. Um, you know, he had his sophomore year, which he ran for 604, um, and then his uh, 2020 season, which was the COVID year, he still managed to run for over a thousand yards in only seven games, which is actually very impressive. 2021, he unfortunately did suffer an injury. I think it was an ACL that you know put him out of commission for you know the whole season. And then he came back in 2022 and ran for 1,600 yards on 320 attempts for 20 touchdowns. That's right, I said 20 touchdowns. So he is no stranger to the end zone whatsoever, and that was an average of 5.2 yards a carry. So right off the bat i mean he can run the ball like stats don't lie like when you look at those stats it's like okay he's ran, he ran for almost 5,000 yards in college which is really good um he does have a lot of you know tread on his tires with attempts but um he, he was consistent enough to average 5.4 yards a carry which you know give him two you know carries every down that's a first down so um 53 total touchdowns um so yeah he's a good bruising running back he's strong physical tough to bring down um because he's smaller he's got that low center of gravity that's able to you know he's able to you know squeeze by the line burst through the line and get to the second level um just watching his highlights you know he's he, again he's just a fun player to watch he's got really great film in my opinion um he does have some limit, uh, limitations to his game you know he's not really a receiving threat um he did get a couple passes in college but you know he's not really known for that um and also the fact that, you know, he's not like the best, like, uh, pass blocking running back as well, given his size and just that, you know, he didn't really do that in college. So, um, really more of a, a, a kind of an early down back, kind of a bruiser, change of pace, you know, he's going to come in, he can get you, you know, that short yardage he, and plus he's not like overly fast. So he's not going to really break any speed records or burst for any like long gains. You know, he's really going to, you know, get you, you know, again, five, seven, nine, ten, you know, those uh, pops of yards, but he's not going to give you like those, you know, home run plays. So, of course, you know, he dealt with injuries as well. And he's an older back. I think he's going to be 25. So all in all, like I, I'm actually really excited about, you know, him being on the Detroit Lions because, you know, to me, he's Jamal Williams uh, kind of replacement. And even, so, even more so, he's actually kind of a running back that the Detroit Lions don't have. And the fact that, um, you know, Jameer Gibbs is going to be that, you know, scat back uh, between receiver, and, you know, running back. Um, Dave Montgomery is going to be that shifty, you know, you know, break tackles kind of running back. Mohamed Ibrahim can be that, you know, third running back that can come in and get you short yardage, you know, situations, um, be more of a power back kind of role. And I think that, you know, he he has potential enough to be that third running back on, on the roster. Now, he's got to battle for it with a couple others, including Greg Bell and Craig Reynolds. But overall, you know, I, I like his I, I don't think he has like a whole lot of upside when it comes to being an NFL like, you know, starting running back. But he does have, you know, value to the team. And I really, you know, I'm excited to see what he can do behind a Detroit Lions offensive line. That Let's let's be honest, was frankly one of the best, if not the best in the NFL. So uh, really excited to see what he can do on the on the team. Hopefully he can stay healthy. And uh, honestly, I think he would be a I think he can make the 53 man roster. If not, he's definitely a um, practice squad player for sure. Hands no hands doubt in my mind. But uh, let me know what you guys think about, you know, Muhammad Abraham. If you guys, like I said, you know, if we watched him in college, uh, what do you think about him being on the Detroit Lions? And yeah, I think he's a sneaky 
good player that can really help contribute um, with the rushing attack. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned for more. And as always, go Lions.